Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. You ready? All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade liver shot lines. on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Huge liver kick! That might do it! Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. Well, straight right hand is oh. He's out! Oh. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And John Jones. Exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh! His liver shot lands. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by his double leg shot. Oh! He slams his opponent down! Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Tim's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, we might have gotten a choke. Grappling 
showing right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys fall around. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. Boom! Big jab. Oh! Huge right hand! Gets up again here, but Hurton. Nice hook land. Goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful, armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off. And now he falls back into the finishing position. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, collision. I feel like both of these guys are the best liver shot lands. Oh! All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to... Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! He's and just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight.
right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big knee there. Now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Keep it busy here on the clinch. He's just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just misses oh, with the gist. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. Perhaps just looking to recover. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Got the single collar tie. He finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh! Huge kick to the body! Just over three minutes to go round one. A lot of power on display. Legaton, a high-level mixed martial arts there as he works for the takedown after now. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to the corner. And he's out. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Hill's nose is cut, and as such, shit's bleeding. strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Big kick land. Stuffs the take down there. How good is his... His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in Elephant. Oh! He's hurt. Turns him up. Just misses there with the left. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a oh! what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to win. Well finish his fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Nice. Start to attack triangle. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, these 
guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on there. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Boom! Oh, he hurt! Huge kick to the leg. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. a high-profile fight. And CM Punk. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick-em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground-and-pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the defend. And that's going to do it! That'll do it! Goodness, what a fight. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top... ...to Fury and the Hall of Famer, Hoist Gracie. Fighters in this division, hard to find. Oh! oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! oh, looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard. These great jujitsu guys. In attack and arm bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him, yep, yeah, absolutely. of stages. Here's Bruce Buffer. Joshua and Colby Covington. on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are eight. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be a 
was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. First buffer now with... And Tyson Fury. For some bonus money there, a huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect. strikes here, DC, this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Get yourself He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all the way to his And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He wiped him out.
Uh, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. And we go inside the octagon. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. Oh! Nice liver shot lands. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage. Oh! Back to the feet. Visibly limping here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Didn't like that oh, 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 oh! on the line. to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. 